that may have applications for all of us later, just like Tang. Are you experiencing an episode? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Well, no, I'm just saying that if it works in space, maybe it works here on Earth. And then for those of us who are aging rapidly, you lose bone ditch. A lot of women, because they don't drink their milk. Why do you say women so angrily? <laughs> Because you're one of them. <laughs> I'm not all women. Most of them are lovely. Yeah, most of them. Mm, yeah. But anyway, that you would get, maybe it could work. I want to circle back to Tang, though. What about Tang? <laughs> I didn't bring it up. You did. What about it? What do you mean it could have applications? Does Tang have some sort of tie to space that I'm unaware of? Does it? I really don't know. Oh, no. Have I stepped in it? <laughs> I'm standing with both feet in it, and I'm going like this, aren't I? Yeah. Honey, that's, what, what have you done? That's I got to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Noah, thank you for the assist. Good. Let's change topics. Um, Tang comes from space. That's, that was a powder drink that they gave oh, astronauts. Oh, I really did not know that. Yeah, that's, and then, and then in the 70s, you know, because the Apollo right. program was so, you know, wonderful, yeah. and everybody yeah. was excited, especially kids, mm -hmm. they started marketing that. Yeah. Tang. Oh. And sold it to kids so you feel like an astronaut when you drink it. Oh. Yeah. I guess that was too. Uh, well, yeah. I guess that was before me. Yeah, see, I, I didn't really. Right. That sounds. Funny. I know nothing about Genghis Khan or Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> but it was before me. I can't know. I could possibly. Oh, how could you're I possibly right. know? No, that? no, no, no. You're right. Because Tang and Abraham Lincoln, oh my gosh, like right here. Everybody is like equal, equal contributions to uh, history. <laughs> right. That's what they say.